Hi guys, welcome to this session. My name is Rahul. I'm from Team Cloudy ML, and uh, today we are going to discuss a roadmap of Python, which we should follow for data science, and how much time it takes to uh, cover this topic. So let's get started. First of all, platforms to use for Python coding. Like we can use Python Idle, PyCharm, Jupyter Notebook, Spider. So Spider and PyCharm are two very well nice ID, even Visual Studio code. And uh, as a beginner, uh, I will not suggest that. I will say that uh, the easiest platform is Google Collaboratory. Uh, Google Collaboratory is uh, very easy and you have... Um, like when you get get familiar with the platform, it will be useful for you if in case you would like to use GPU later in deep learning. <clears throat> there are other, other online compilers also, program is W3 Schools, Geeks for Geeks. You can use them also, but I will say the first thing is the easiest thing is Google Collaboratory. Then you can try PyCharm and other options. Online compilers are handful for some, all of a sudden you wanna ro uh, run some code, then these are really useful in this case. So I will suggest Google Collaboratory. And now let's, next thing is uh, the basics of Python, which is Python syntax, variables, how to take user input, arithmetic operations, Python operators, and uh, data types, typecasting. So these are Python basics and I will say that overall finishing this will take, uh, let's say two to three days. These are very basics. These are very basics. Uh, as a beginner, you can uh, learn all of this in like just two to three days. Or let's say if you would like to learn more, practice more, maximum four days. Now, next thing is uh, data types in Python. Uh, these are also very basics, numbers, strings, but you know, these strings, lists, tuples, dictionary sets, they have their own method. So overall, it can take time. I will say that if you want to finish all these data types and their methods, it can take up to, uh, I will say, five days. It can take more depending on your speed and how good you are in understanding all these methods. Mm, but minimum, I will say, because uh, list, tuples, dictionaries, sets, string methods, these are like a main core Python. So it can take some time, but I'm still taking minimum five days. Now, uh, next thing is uh, conditional statements and loops. These are a very important part of uh, any programming language, uh, like how to use conditional statements and loops. So you must practice this a lot. For example, like normally it takes like uh, three days to learn this, uh, all these looping. But the main thing is how to use these loops and conditional statements on these methods, using these methods. So it's like, uh, you know how to uh, how to use a gun, but using a gun while driving is a difficult task, like how to shoot a target. So it's like uh, you need to use loops over on these, these methods by mixing them up. So these things are a little bit difficult. Uh, I mean, not difficult, I'll say it takes time. So I'm writing these days, don't take it as hardcore uh, number. It all depends on your way of learning and how much time, how, 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 how good your, is your speed. Now, there are some important built-in functions. I'm just considering here five. There are uh, other more functions, but these are like very much used, including there is zip method also. So learning about inbuilt functions of Python can take somewhere uh, four to six days. I mean, basically practicing them also. Now, <clears throat> next is uh, object oriented programming. Uh, like you can skip this topic uh, in data science in the beginning. You don't need this, but this is very important part of Python learning about object oriented programming. So, uh, like, if you have time, I will suggest that you take a dip in on this topic. It can take uh, seven to 10 days to properly understand. 
some of you may can do it in three, four, five days. But I personally feel that it's something you should give time if you have time to do it. But if you really like you have limited time and you would like to just do the important thing and get a job, then you can skip this for now. Now, there are some other concepts like iterators, how to import modules and use them, error and exception handling. And uh, uh, you can skip this topic for now. It will come in NumPy. So <clears throat> these topics can take somewhere three days. I will say three days. That's sufficient maximum. Um, by the way, with time, with, uh, you will learn this with practice. Now comes the main data science libraries of Python, which is NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, Seaborn, Scikit-learn, SciPy. So overall, all these topics can take somewhere around 15 days, uh, 15 days to get hands on. Like it's like you can really get this in like a, within a week, but to practice it and to actually get it, it can take some time. And these are important libraries uh, and especially Scikit and it's actually huge. So it can take more than 15 days. <clears throat> so, so just uh, get a hands on it. And uh, now next thing is uh, deep learning libraries. Uh, these libraries, uh, you don't need this if you are planning to become a data analyst. It's something for machine learning engineer and deep learning engineer. So it can take uh, it can take a lot like um, more than a month to get a hands on it with through projects. So overall, <coughs> overall the main libraries it can take 15, 318 to 10, 28. Uh, 28, 6, 34, 37, and uh, 42, 45. Overall, it can take uh, uh, one and a half month to cover all these important libraries. And I think it's a decent time. But if you take like, let's say up to two months of time, that's okay. Uh, it's, it's all depends on your speed and that's sufficient. So guys, uh, if you like this video, give a thumbs up and comment below. What would you like to see next? And also share this video with others. Thank you guys. Thank you.